Some of the best accounts of stellar events are in the winter counts. We know of over 170 American Indian winter counts and over 70 of those are Lakota winter counts. And these winter counts exist in a number of institutions across the United States. The Biko Memorial Museum in St. Francis has at least a half dozen of winter counts and the Sioux Indian Museum at the Journey Museum in Rapid City also has a couple winter counts. The upper left, you'll see a, 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 a house, a cabin with a circle around it. Yeah. Right below that, you'll see a rectangle with some stars in it. And that's the year the stars fell. These are remarkable uh, histories of the Lakota people, specifically the Sichanghu people, uh, who are now on the Rosebud Reservation. So for these middle school students from Spring Creek School, for them to get to see these winter counts is like going to Washington, D.C. to the National Archives. And the word in Lakota, Wanietu, is the same for year and for winter. Wanietu means both things. And so in the winter, these men would sit around, the big bellies, they'd call them, they would sit around and decide what's the most important event for that past year. Like we said, life on the Northern Plains was really hard. And we can see this uh, documented on the winter counts. Each winter count is about a specific Teoshpai. So they're talking about the famines they are experiencing, the starvations that they are experiencing, or the diseases that they are experiencing. And, and these local uh, events are what differentiate these uh, winter counts. At some point, there is one event that all of the winter counts in the plains talk about. And this is the event for the year the stars fell. The night of November 12th and 13th, 1833, the, the Leonid meteor showers just were phenomenal. Uh, uh, unparalleled, probably in the history up to that point to these people. And since then, we've never seen the Leonid meteor showers so uh, uh, bright, so, so awe-inspiring. And so that year, 1833, is, is recorded in every winter count as the year the stars fell. If my oils, my hands get on here, it'll deteriorate the paper. And as you can see, it's very fragile. Um, even the, the, uh, some of the markings have um, gone onto the other papers. But this is wow. what we want to show you. Um, wow. Incredible. Yeah, yeah, it is like a journal. So winter counts could be on hides and they could also be in books. And this man was from Rosebud. And so he kept this winter count and I've never seen it before. It's what you. I want to look at is this yeah. is the years the stars fell. This chaos that was in the skies uh, goes back to this idea of order that stars are ordered. They, they, they stay in a fixed position relative to each other and they move through the sky, but they move in an order. And these are our relatives. Uh, the Lakotas at that time seen these stars as their relatives. And so your relatives are up there moving in a fixed order. They on the earth were moving in a fixed order. And then for some unexplained reason on that night, November 12th to 13th that night, the, these relatives that had been in this fixed order as long as the people had lived and could remember all at once they were just moving around chaotically. <laughs>